Right, so next up, I need you guys. A comrade yeah. is being attacked. Prepare! Destroy them! Ready! Unleash fury! Prepare! Take heed, warriors! Attend! And it's just like, nope, I've had enough. Let me out of here. Don't want to do this anymore. The enemy unit flees. What cowards? Meanwhile, the trebuchets are a third of the way there. Attack. Uh, let's just speed this up. This is, we're in. The gatehouse is going to be the difficult bit. And we've killed all of their commanders, so they're going to have no morale. Let's just make sure we deal with these units so that they just leave me alone. Leave me alone. Army, what is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Because generals do it all. Look, the enemy run! Craven! Ah, this is the infantry captain. We'd better pop a couple of buffs just in case they actually surprise us. So far, not really. The enemy unit flees! What cowards! Ah, and now this tower is mine as well. Lovely. <laughs> the archers are like, nope, don't like this. Terrible plan. We're leaving. So sorry. Didn't mean to upset we are you. Capturing their city. And the really scary thing? My healer's heal is already recharged. There it is, the victory. Yeah, just pop a heal, just make sure everyone's at full strength. Decisive victory. So the only thing I will have lost is my trebuchets. Damn it! <laughs> so I'm going to have to wait another turn or two to replenish those before I push forwards. Although Hei Yi's army can move on. It's just going to be um, Gong Du that needs to sit here for a turn or two. Plus his cavalry needs to replenish actually. So resting up for a bit, I think, is probably going to be a good move. From the roots to heaven. That was a lot of money. Ooh. Golden and silvery. We will bring righteousness to this. A settlement. treasure. As you proceed through the annex settlement, one of your officers brings you an ornate chest sealed with a heavy lock. You strike it firmly with your blade, breaking the chest open to reveal its contents: jewels, valuable trinkets, and wondrous treasures. What I get? What I get? What I get? The Trust of God, minus 15 instinct, plus 24 authority, makes you immune to fear and terror, does 4,000 damage. Plus 24 authority. That's quite a lot of authority, blimey. Bring news of what occurred in my you can't absence. use swords, can you? No. It would be nice if you had some more authority, because that would fix some of the uh, satisfaction problems. But then again, your job is kind of to be a duelist. So losing that much instinct would be a bad thing. Lun Yi is the only one that can use it, apparently. So what's better? The Blade of Zhu Yu, or the Trust of God? Oh, 
Uh, I would say the trust of God, to be quite honest. Man, it hits fast as well. 30 attack speed. I stole Sal Sal's sword. No, 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 no. <laughs> Grim Ironhide looks on in green envy. Kind of seems like if you had enough generals, you could probably do without the troops saving money. Yeah, not really. Um, Reject corruption. This is very biased because yellow turban commanders are extremely strong. Like with the Chinese factions, the regular factions, I think they are balanced better. Like they've clearly spent quite a long time balancing the regular stuff and the yellow turbans is a really well-designed faction. I love everything they've done with them, but they really do need another balance pass. Because the heroes in particular are just like, what? Did you just walk into a battle where I used nothing but heroes? Yes. It was a siege. The siege knocked out my uh, trebuchet, so I was like, oh, I don't really want to lose troops to uh, tower shooting. So let's just send in the heroes, and yeah, they won. Resist Having taken no damage thanks to the power of healer. For the people. All right, well, we've retaken this place, and I definitely want this to be upgraded to an entrenched garrison, because good grief, this place gets attacked a lot. Also want it to be upgraded to a large city. How can I see what weapons and things it has? I don't think I can. It just says it has walls. It doesn't show any of the other defenses. Um, what's going to be the bigger upgrade? I mean, this gets me to crossbows. Which I do think is probably the more useful. So let's keep the uh, garrison upgrading. Yellow turbans will likely be nerfed in the first balance patch. I kind of hope they are. Oh, we've got an heirloom spear as well. Oh wait, no, no, that's that's <laughs> that's what we got previously, right? I did I just get another heirloom spear? No, that is indeed what we already had. Although we have a bunch of silver weaponry, am I actually using the best stuff that I could be? Apparently, yes. Justice cannot be denied. Zankai was killed. Oh no, Dong Fan Yang and somebody else. Cool. Uh, right, so you can march on and take. The fishing port <laughs> this turn because you haven't actually fought anything yet technically Attack! and we're just going to delegate this even though it's 2600 versus us but it's low casualties decisive victory that will do should have done that as a knife battle actually our faith was rewarded we lost 600 men yeah. in time they will thank us for this and everything that we'd lost against Sao Sao has now been regained so now, the counter-offensive can begin. Trait gain, Jan Mao is determined. Resolve and instinct. Jan Mao still gets on with all of his comrades, so that's fine. And we got the commander here back again. And we have 12,000 in the bank now. Right, we do need one of these, which is going to be the harmonic congregation. Plus five income from industry and will also allow me to get the top level of copper mine. Does this game have Chonu Yu? Uh, it's not the medium crossbow unit. It is just a repeating crossbow unit. But yes, yes they do. Yes it does. Pretty big empire you have going. I'm pretty pleased with it. It's doing its job. Uh, how close to ascendancy am I? Oh, close. I'm only 10 points away. And at that point, we're going to have more emperors emerging. And that's when the... War of the Three Kingdoms really begins. 
So we've already had one declare themselves a emperor. I think we're going to have some more very soon. I actually see who's called themselves emperor. Was it Song? I don't think it was Song. Wu is a kingdom. It was Wu, wasn't it? Yeah, I think that's what the dragon means. They consider themselves an emperor. So Wu's a long way away. And there's the faction capital. We're showing the faction capital because that's now the uh, objective. We need to take out all three emperor faction capitals. So once the other two are declared, then we'll see where those are. I want to see if Old South will give me all the money. Um, that's certainly an interesting question to ask. Duchy of Way. Curb your dishonest tongue, and we may talk. No, not really. I mean, he'll give money, but not a huge amount. About six grand. We can get more. Okay, so you guys are just going to sit back and replenish. That's fine by me. And we do need to build some more things. So, Woodoo. Can upgrade the copper mine. Seven turns it's going to take. Do it. And Ding can also increase the tool production. Is this maximum level? No, there's one more after this. Plus 500 industry income. Oh, and we have an assignment available as well. Do we have anyone that's still losing a lot of public order? There's one or two places, but we should be able to fix that. Chang'an, are you still exempt from taxes? No. You're just super happy now. Oh, right, yeah, because my uh, army is sitting in there. My other army. Where else are we making a lot of money? Jin Cheng is. Jin Cheng could probably do with an upgrade in city. Although one thing I do need to keep in mind is food production changes. This is fine. Ending produces a lot. Endings. Public order is still a problem. So let's get the leader's house. And that's all 12 grand. Gone. <laughs> Just like that. Finance is still my problem though. Need to make more money. I wonder if I have all the technologies required to form or to build the top level headquarter so I can get the administrators. Because at the moment I really need more admi admins. Like that's what I'm lacking. I've got the assignment. Ah. Right, let's do the assignment right now before I forget. Hang Zhu left the coalition of the Duchy of Shu Han. Wait, that was Lu Bei, wasn't it? Liu Bei was. He was a vassal at one point. He's recovered. Just a little bit. Uh, assignments. Assignments, assignments, assignments. So we currently have an assignment. Stimulate markets in Jincheng and Hanshong. Where else do I produce a lot of... Commerce or silk. Hanjong. 
We're already there. Jin Cheng's the other one, right? Yes. So where's the third one? I know I have three. We do. That's going to earn us more money too. You need another turn before your trebs are ready. You, however, are good to go. And having just taken out Sao Sao, I feel a little bit more comfortable about um, extending myself a bit more. So we're going to go on the march and we're going to see what we can take. I mean, taking Liu Yang would be really nice because that's going to allow me to see everything that comes up and down this river and just give me forewarning before they get to this. Diplomatic reports. We are now trespassing. Sorry! Not really, though. If you want to declare war on me, that's fine. I'll just kill you as well. Home gladdens the heart. And then we have this army, which could actually go and take that. Huzzah! Narwolf, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Welcome to the Maudlings. Raise taxes to 300%. Nah, we're good. I'm fairly happy with where we are right now. I mean, we're upgrading a bunch of things. More stuff still to come. It is public order that's becoming the problem. Just need to keep these uh, public order buildings going. And how is the corrupt... Oh, flipping hell, corruption's bad. So in the places with an administrator, it's okay. In the places without, it's a problem. Which is why I really need those administrators. So if we just go back to Anding, right-click on you. What am I lacking? Need to upgrade the settlement to a small regional city. Is that it? We already have build to last. So, yeah. Small, small regional cities. Which is the next step for Hanzhong Jincheng. And at that point, we can start getting more administrators. Did you just walk past me? Oh no, you're sailing up the river, aren't you? An exquisite weapon. You are brought an item wrapped in cloth, a gift from one of the masters of your arsenal. Pulling away its drapery, you find yourself gazing upon a weapon of exquisite craftsmanship. Such an ornament, clearly made by one of considerable skill, is an offering you would be foolish not to accept. The master animal trainer from one of your commanderies gives you a beautiful horse. This is a rare specimen that wasn't easy to break in, he claims, but such is the way with the greatest of steeds. So we gained an Imperial Bow, a Grey Elite, 8 expertise, 15% ch chance of evading capture, speed 53, and then plus 30 charge bonus. The Imperial Bow, which does 1.9 thousand range damage and 900 armor pierce, range of 250, that can range uh, crossbows. The problem is, you never seem to have a lot of ammo. And then the Zhuangzi, which is retinue upkeep reduction. That's going to be nice. Who do I pay a lot of money to? Either of you. Who's expensive? 900, 600, and 700. 1,000, 800, 700. So you would be the one. That is a huge bonus, though. So probably not in exchange for this. Uh... Hey, man. Never yield. This is a really good bow. This bow, I would say, is now actually better than the Celestial Sphere. So let's give that to you. My lord, I hope then the Celestial well. Sphere could probably be given to you. No, not this turn. The elite horse. Uh, 
Not as good as Dilu. Dilu is ridiculous. Probably give it to you, though. Yeah. It will slow you down. But it does give you a bigger charge bonus. And a lot more mass, which I guess allows you to smash through defenses. And also more expertise. Expertise is not actually your big thing. It's yours, isn't it? Nope. Lonyi has a fair bit. None of my guys actually use expertise very much. Uh, except for Hang Shao. Cunning is better for you, though. Plus six resolve. Wait, did I give that to the right person? No, I didn't. I meant to give it to you. That's better. And then you... Already using the Red Stallion. Then you'll probably want a Red Stallion instead of the Cunning. You probably want the Cunning instead of the Resolve. And then you... Already using the Black Stallion, so you may as well use that one. That'll do. Who's the heir in my faction? Don't have one. I don't actually know how Yellow Turbans decide a new ruler when, or if, Gongdu dies. I guess the assumption is just Gongu doesn't die. I mean, it's just a fairly logical assumption, given all that we know about Gongdu. Jin Chang, what are you building? You are not building anything. Uh, Baxi. Create those communal workshops. Jin Chang is really struggling with the build slots. That's what you need. You need to get up to 5,000 to get the regional city. Public order is going to be a really big issue for you. Okay. Noted. Go loot me something worth money. Much, much money. Oh, hello. For China. Oh. Warriors, attend. Victory belongs to us. Um, Peric victory, really? It is defended. Justice is on our side. Oh, and you're actually running. I thought you were at sea. Interesting. You're trying to get behind my lines. I mean, Chang'an has a huge garrison, so fingers crossed that Chang'an can hold. The problem is if you come running up here and decide to take one of my outlying territories. So I think we kind of do need to take Liu Yang so that we can chase after you and destroy you as well. Your army is not very strong. Break their spirit. Strike as one. Uh we do not have trebuchets, so dealing with their towers is going to be an issue. Yeah, there are definitely going to be choke points here. A band of brigands before us. Nothing more. Now, draw your weapons. Battle is upon us. Draw your weapons. Battle is upon us. He man. He's going to war. 
Oh, I wonder. You don't happen to have fire arrows, do you? No. Stand ready. No matter. You have 64 shots now. That's kind of a lot. Okay, so I think I am going to do this sneaky mode. So let's have you lot hiding in this wood, where you are now invisible. That'll do. Then we're going to pretend to be attacking here which will allow you to come charging in and hit them from behind and hopefully do some damage. So, Archer Masters. Dudes with big shields. Dudes with no shields. Begin. I have an active block ability, which is what we're using here. So we have 20 seconds of invulnerability to the towers. There's all of their archers at the back. This is going to be bad for them. Alright, archers start sprinting forwards as well, because I want the archers to just start peppering this. Nowhere near as effective as I was hoping, he man. Though so he did get 73 kills, so yay. Alright, all of you lot. Um, in fact, let's just murder their archers while we're here. Actually, Hang, you stay here. You come storming forwards. actually taken the towers already. So really the only dangerous unit here are these archers. As soon as they're dead, then it's game over, man. Game over. And they have stupidly left this entrance unguarded. Craven! 